Welcome back everyone to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This is your MySQL tutorial series and we are going to be covering the set data type. Oh, it's already written there. <laughs> oh wait, you can't see it. Now, set. It's so similar to the enum or enum, however the heck you want to say it, <laughs> data type. So, make sure you watch the video over enum. If you have enum figured out, Figuring out set is a piece of pie. Looking back at enum, it allows you to pick one of many options. Set, on the other hand, allows you to pick many of many options. So literally, you are going to pick a set of data, a group. One of the primary differences between set and enum is that with set, the number of available options you're allowed to have is much lower. In fact, you're only allowed to have 64. Whereas with enum, you can have thousands. Practically, you should never have more than 3,000, but even with that many options, I mean, that's a crap ton of options. You might not even need that many. 64, on the other hand, is a pretty small number. You might hit that. As with the enum type, the importance of the set data type can be thrown into question when you start talking about database design. I mean, think about it. Let's say we make a list of options and we'll just make a couple here. And over here we have some rows. So let's say this is a row from a table, this is a row from a table, and this is a row from a table. And these can all be in the same table, that's fine. And one of the columns in that row is of the set data type. So let's say this row picks this one and this one. And this one picks this one and this one. And this one picks all three. You can see that an individual entity over here can pick multiple things over here and an individual option can be picked by multiple things. So this is a many-to-many -many relationship. In database design, it is well known that you should never use sets. Now the set data type is a little bit different because it's designed to work as a set, but even so, you can avoid the set data type by having database design. We've discussed how to design many-to-many -many relationships when we were talking about relationships. All you would need is a table for this, a table for these options, and then an intermediary table to list the associations from one of these rows to one of these. So to go through an example, let's give these some IDs. One, two, three, one, two, three. Our intermediary table would look something like this. One goes to one and one goes to two. So it would be like this. One, 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 two. Two goes to one and two goes to three. So we'd have two to one. 2 to 3, and then finally 3 to 1, 2, and 3. 3 to 1, 3 to 2, and 3 to 3. You get the point. So the set data type is really not needed, and a lot of people see it as a non-standard way of creating a database. That being said, I'm not a database expert. If you know there is a genuine reason to use the set data type, go for it. I won't tell anyone, except maybe your boss, and then I'll get you fired. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but seriously. Now, let's talk about how to actually use this data type in case you do decide to use it. Let me clear off this board for you. You declare this data type just like you would the enum data type. So within a create table statement or an alter table statement, for example, you would give the column and then you would give the data type. And it would look something like this. Now, in order to show this, let's think of an example. In our bidding website, we can add items on there. We also have categories on this bidding website. So an item can be added to a category. But it's not always so that an item fits a category exactly. An item may fit multiple categories. So on our website, in this situation, rather than having a drop-down box where you can select one, you might have check boxes where you can select multiple. And in this situation, you could have all of the available options within a set data type. And you would literally just put the options in here with single quotes separated by commas. Now let's say we have an old antique car. The categories for this thing might be automotive, or automobile, transportation, and antique. So we are going to list these in this set. Now you normally would put all of the available options here, but for simplicity I'm just going to put the convenient three that we need. And that is how you would create the set data type. Now the difference between set and enum shows up when we are inserting data. So let's say we are inserting this data into the listings table. So we have one listing for this car. Insert into listings, values, and then once we got to that column, what we would do is we would quote and then put all of the values separated by commas. 
And there you go. Now notice the difference here. In this situation, we quote every single value. But for this situation, we quote the entire thing only one time and then separate each value by commas. Because of that, you don't want to use words that have commas in them because it's going to confuse MySQL. Now, if you were to add the same value in here twice, it would be ignored. And when you select this data back from the database, it's going to be organized in the order that it was declared. Additionally, something you need to be concerned about is what's known as a collation. And what this is, it has to do with character sets. It's how things are compared. And some of these are case sensitive. Some are case sensitive. <laughs> If you're using a case sensitive collation for a column, you need to be careful when you're inserting data because if you put something lowercase when it's supposed to be uppercase, you're going to cause some problems. So yeah, everyone, that is your introduction to the set data type. Hopefully that was good for you and nice and helpful. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to click like, and in the next video, we'll be talking about something new. So, well, I guess not that new. We're still gonna be talking about data types, but we're going to be moving on to numeric data types. So thanks guys, I'll see you then, and be sure to subscribe.